Hi, welcome to AP Art. I am Ms. Stock and I have a slideshow to give you an overview of the AP Art program at San Mateo High School. There are three APs, 2D Art and Design, Drawing, and 3D Art. It's best if students are a senior and have taken advanced art, advanced drawing, or advanced media arts. The thinking that's required for AP um, is pretty sophisticated, and we have found over the years that the seniors, sometimes a junior, um, really have um, a lot more success with this program um, as it really is more of a advanced college sort of thinking as opposed to an entry level college sort of thinking. Students have to be really willing to experiment and revise um, their artwork and um, put in a lot of time to make art throughout the year and meet deadlines. Uh, the first semester we have um, prompts that the whole class does, um, exploration of inquiry questions. And the second semester, you've chosen your inquiry question and you make um, a series of in-depth artwork based on that idea. Um, some of the essential skills are working in your sketchbook on a daily basis, researching your topic in depth. Um, it's important to meet work deadlines and take artistic risks um, of course, with the guidance of your teacher and feedback from your fellow students um, to guide you along the way. Um, we'll have critical discussions based on process and product um, throughout the semesters. And um, it's important for you to be very aware of how you work and be open to um, changing that and adjusting it to further explore your, your um, inquiry question. You're going to have to document your process the entire time, um, continue to take pictures, and um, keep track of that as that's part of this portfolio. You'll have a bunch of homework every week, and the exam, it's really a portfolio. You're not answering uh, multiple choice questions or anything, but you are creating a portfolio that you'll submit with um, substantial writing um, by the first week of May, it's usually the end of May. Um, but you're basically starting to work on your exam, you know, on day one. Some of the projects are um, creative prompts. Um, get your creative brain engaged, warm up exercises. Um, we'll study contemporary artists. You will experiment with different media and in a sketchbook. Um, we make a series of three to get you to stay with your inquiry question. Um, you'll experiment with a different kind of media or opposite style than you're used to to get you out of your comfort zone. It usually gets students to try something new and jolts them into um, high levels of creativity. Um, we will make multiples. Um, in various ways. Printmaking is a lot of times what we do for that. Um, if we can, we, well, we usually do figure drawing, so you'll have some of that. Um, working on the portrait or nature and still life abstraction and architectural, architecturally inspired work. Here's an example of a student series of three. So the student was working with um, a topic of women's experience um, throughout history. And this is what she, she did. Um, some of the things that you have to do are make art on a daily basis and write about your work. Um, basically what you're gonna be doing over the entire course of the year is making a sustained investigation on a specific topic of your choosing. Um, the best artworks will have a synthesis of idea, media, and process. Those three things are kind of woven together in the most successful work, and we will explore that in depth. 
So you have to explore, research, and experiment continually. Um, it's important to be organized. Submissions of work with artist statements on a timely basis, photographs submitted to Canvas for grades, and um, it's important that you participate and you're ready for scheduled verbal and written critiques. Here's an example of a media switch up. A student that worked digitally um, was challenged to work um, in three dimensions and um, really got into some more creative work with this. Students are highly encouraged or required actually to uh, document their process with mind maps, sketchbook work, uh, making experiments and um, showing how that's connected to the final artwork. Critique is an essential part of the AP class. Um, looking at all the artwork and seeing how it's connected and getting feedback from your peers is very important. Um, so this happens regularly, informally and more formally. It's really an important part of the AP environment, um, working with other students who think creatively and share ideas. So what follows here is some um, examples of the three portfolios. We have 2D, drawing, and 3D. This student's inquiry question was, what is the imagined future of space exploration? So basically, you have to ask a question, and then your art answers it. What would the world look like if we could see all the technological transfers of information and energies? How is the reflection of light in objects and nature connected to the reflection of memories? That was the 2D design. This is the drawing. Um, drawing has different requirements um, or different descriptors like mark making, um, showing depth, um, whereas design is a little bit more about composition and elements and principles of design. The student did, what does the emotional, what is, what does the deep emotional connection between nature and humans look like? In what ways does the confusion created by mass media affect teens? These are the 3D art portfolios. Well, not the whole portfolio, but just a sample. How does technology affect people both negatively and positively? How can future architecture evoke and target human emotions? How far would humans go technologically, environmentally, and morally? Again, the student asks a question, art answers it. Let me know what kind of questions you have. I'm happy to share a lot more. Um, good luck. <laughs>